Hey, what's up, YouTube and Paula World? I'm back dealing with a 1964 turn signal switch blinker system. This is what was broke. Anyways, YouTube, I glued it. I I I couldn't imagine taking that this whole piece off that I had in my hand in the previous videos without trying to glue it first. I threw some super super glue on it, YouTube. Yeah. So it looks like I'm able to switch again. I'm going to give you guys a, an example because it cracked right there, right where the screw, right right where this lever screws in is is where it was cracked. I mean, this is a pain in the butt. The the last time I drove with no blinkers, I mean, I couldn't even pull in to get to the gas station. People were so in a rush. I mean, they couldn't even see me. It's crazy. Anyways, this is what we're looking at. I'm going to go ahead and lever it down. There's my left. Back in um, neutral. Now I'm going to make that right turn click. Oh. Yep. It's glued. I'm just going to have to just be careful. I mean, it already broke the first time. Wow. Anyways, YouTube. Like I said, I, I just, I mean, this is still better than nothing. I couldn't find a, um, any video on this. Any video whatsoever on removing this, the steering wheel on this year making model of anything. I was blind. I didn't even know how to take the horn piece off. Blindfolded. Nobody wants to say anything or share anything. Anyways, I'm working with one hand. Uh, and I did mark. That's my old marker right there. That I had marked, but it looks like it was already off. Just give me a second. Bear with me, YouTube. Yeah, it went back on, and this is what I'm dealing with. Is what I went off and did is that I put the steering wheel right in the middle, even though my marker's off, as you can see the black mark line. Is what I did is that I um I leveled out my steering wheel, and I also checked the front tires to make sure they were straight, of course. Let me go ahead and recheck again. Yeah, my steering wheel, I mean, my tires look straight. I guess this is the best I'm going to get it. Anyways, YouTube, I thought I'd load this up for the 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Since there was nothing that I could find, I mean, I didn't even have an idea. Being blindfolded and lost is not fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys got some sort of idea of anything. Thanks, YouTube. Later in part of the world.